Okay, so today we are going on our cruise and we are going to snorkel. First thing you need to know though is if you buy new snorkel gear, um, you need to make sure that you take some handy dandy white toothpaste, only the white toothpaste, kind of the regular old white toothpaste, rub it all over the inside and the outside ones, let it set for 24 hours, and then clean it off. And then do it again, rinse and repeat. You want to do it three times and that will actually help with your fogging situation. So something I wished I would have learned because all these plastic products come with some sort of chemical on them and the chemical makes the things fog up more. The other thing that you need to know, done it enough times, these plastic crappy cheapy um, back bands mess up with the girl's hair. Girls do not like their hair messed up when they're traveling. So shameless plug here, but I would definitely go get one of these cloth. I got mine from Scuba Toys. One of these cloth backs takes two seconds to repair and put on and it will make the ladies in your house very, very happy. And hey guys, it's a lot easier for you to find as well. If they fall off, they float a little bit. So I would uh, definitely replace those. The other thing, if you're preparing for a trip, we're going on a cruise, we're leaving today, and we obviously are going to go snorkeling. If you have any snorkeling plans in your future, take and buy snorkel gear. 15, 20, maybe 30 bucks you can buy it. You can own it for every vacation moving forward. And the stuff that you buy um, at a place like Scuba Toys, all the gear you can see over the years I've bought um, snorkels and flippers, it will last a lot longer if you buy a professional grade than if you go and use the rental stuff. If you add the rental stuff up at $15 or $20 a pop, you end up spending hundreds of dollars over time. So this will save you thousands of dollars and let you enjoy more scuba. So check out Scuba Toys, my buddies over there or any other scuba store, get it from the professional. Don't go to like a Dick's or Target or Walmart. Actually take the time and go to a real scuba store and they will advise you as well as give you the right gear. Check their clearance section because that's where I got these bad boys. I bought this one actually three years ago. It has a um, ventilator so you can actually blow out the water. It's kind of a cool toy. It was like $110 when I bought it originally three years ago and I just picked it up for 15 bucks in the clearance sale, brand new. And so all my kids are getting brand new ones that I, uh, I'm very happy about. So anyhow, check it out. Check out my buddies over at Scuba Toys and we will catch you on the next one.